Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 Dixie Kong's Double Trouble in the last episode. We started doing stuff around here in the Chaos Core, and in this episode, we're going to be doing the Coin Dozer Clamber. I apologize. My voice is a little bit gone because I was at the Runaway Guys Coliseum earlier. Now, here we see Coin Dozers. They cannot hurt you, but they can sh they very much can shove you, and as you can see, they will shove you into cliffs. There are a lot of edges in this level. And they will stop at nothing to push you in as many as possible. But, like I said before, completely harmless. However, that's gonna become an issue later when we're jumping over them and there's just cliffs everywhere. Oh, that's not the one. Oh boy! Okay, grabbing you. Ha ha! You can jump on top of them, similar to just the regular coins. Uh, and you really gotta be careful about where you land. Uh, Dixie, while not a must, makes this level a lot easier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think it's the first time I was able to pull that off this time around. And bonus barrel immediately right above this bazooka. Collect 30 stars. And wouldn't you know it, there's uh, there's coin dozers here. And you do not get a lot of time to do this, so you want to hurry up, grab them all, and boom! Bonus coin! That makes 70. Alright, and we got a save point. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Or, uh, continue barrel, or whatever you want to call it. This cliff is actually too high to jump up, so you need the coin dozer there in order to get up it. Get rid of this chompy here. Again, I don't really know what the actual names are, but... You know, chompy. This area is a little bit tough. You really gotta hit, like, your peak of the jump at the right time there. I'm going for the N. I think I missed the O. I did. So we got K and N. Oh, okay. Do this. I think if you don't have either of the Kongs, you could use the uh, the jumping guy to get in there, but it's kind of difficult. I'm going to switch Kongs, because using Dixie makes this infinitely easier. All right, jump to that one. Jump to this one. No! Let's try that one again, shall we? I died, so I got Dixie back. So you really got sort of have to be like very accurate as to where you're like jumping to. Otherwise, S is going to hit the effing fan. BF kidding me. I'm trying to be cleaner in my videos. Uh, as a, I kind of as a uh, kind of like as like a from like a streaming standpoint at least. I kind of look up to uh to um what's his name Ninja. And uh, I, I sort of like appreciate what he's doing to try to like, sort of like, I wouldn't say cater to a younger audience, but like, at least like, you know, make make his content more accessible for, for like parents who, who want to like see the, the content. Uh, but anyway, there's a switch barrel up here. Jump into that. That becomes uh, steel kegs and you could, you could beat him up. Just straight up beat him up. Keep going. I think we got both, yeah, we got both of the, uh, the, the, uh, not Kong things, but, or what have you, but, uh, both of the, the, the bonus barrels. Good lord, my brain is just on the fritz, as always. We made it! Poisonous Pipeline. Oh, boy. So, do you remember in Donkey Kong Country 2... When, uh, at, and during the final boss fight, when, uh, when you got hit by the purple cloud and you were swimming backwards and your control, not swimming, but your controls are backwards. That's this entire level. So I got to be careful at which direction I'm pushing. Left is now right. Right is now left. Fortunately, swimming up doesn't change at all. So that's good. Uh, Oh, and the other thing, too, is that when you go above the water, your controls switch back. So you're kind of confused at that point, and you're like, Oh, which way do I go? By my book. Oh, jeez. So this one might take me a few tries. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, there should be a red clownfish coming up here soon. I swim past here. 
Is I wrong? What's up there? Is there anything up there? It looks like there'd be something up there. It looks like where there's sort of like, yeah, there are bananas up there. Get, uh, get bananas, get the lives, get the ladies. That's right, playing Donkey Kong Country 3 will get you all the ladies. Look at this fast boy. Shout out to fast boys. Uh, comments down and down below. I want you to comment what you think, what your favorite, uh, not really favorite. Uh, even as Unguard, by the way, your controls are reversed. Just left and right, though, so you don't have to worry about up and down. Uh, ooh. nope, down. I keep forgetting that up and down are not reversed. What am I missing? Uh. Oh, I had still so many left to kill there. Uh, anyway, what I'm saying is, uh, chat, or chat, good lord, this ain't Twitch. Not yet, anyway. It could be Twitch. Okay, D down? Ah! What I was saying before, comments, comment below, uh, your favorite challenge in a video game that reverses your controls. Because I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about the bonuses like me. Got the first one. Good lord! Uh, I am not a fan. What I can do is just direct myself up and down and keep doing squealies. Like, whoop! Oh, ho, ho. Uh, I find it hard to believe that there's nothing past here. Hold on. That's... That can't be right. There's always some kind of, like, secret on the other side of, like, enemies that go seemingly go nowhere. I guess not. Wow. They're up in their game. Making sure you know your stuff. Oh! Oh! I almost got clownfished hard. Okay. And this way. Oh, I I keep forgetting the up and down aren't reversed in this one. Oh, God! Ow! Nope! Nope, it's not a reverse! <laughs> I keep forgetting. I don't know why, I just do. Halfway point. Thank goodness. I think we should also be getting a, uh, a Kong barrel here at some point. Beautiful! It's so much easier just let the let the the act like it's not like this isn't actually happening. And then just like aim up and down. Whoa. I can't get one of them. I'm gonna back up a little bit so I can get one. Okay, down. Okay, I I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit better, but I think propelling myself forward with a charge is just like insanely easier. Except I can't do that anymore. But, uh, now my, my, uh, upward momentum is just, de uh, determined by one button now. I actually think it's harder being unguard there. Oh, my, oh, goodbye. Oh, okay. And go. Sf swim faster than fish. Can you swim faster than fish? Oh, there is kitty. Easy. <laughs> Hate these clownfish. Hate these clownfish. Hate all these clownfish. Oh, Lordy Lou. Okay, at least I made it through. That rhymed. Now it's rhyme time. Oh, God. At least he's not. Okay, that one wasn't moving very fast, so that's good. All right. Go. Okay. Now we go this way, because I believe the bo next bonus barrel is over here. All right. Past the... I think we determined that these things are actually just called lurchins, not necessarily urchins. Oh, yeah. Oh, my... I'm a fool. I am a foolish, foolish fool. I still have kitty, though. And I think this barrel actually leads me off to the end, so as long as I can collect the 30 stars and not die... Then it'll be good. Okay, up and down are not reverse. Gotta remember that. 
Oops, a little bit lower. Okay, good. Only one left, got it! Oh, we're through! No longer do I need to worry. Yep, there's the G, I think I missed the O. Oh no, I got the O, good. I keep forgetting about that. That was frustrating when I was a kid. The fact that when, like, you jump out of the water, it would save your location. Uh, that was really easy to get, so you don't have to worry there. Can I save this barrel in the water? No. But, I don't have to worry about enemies anymore because we're at the end, baby. Look at how happy Kitty is. Just, just, just look at him. Look at how happy he is. Whew. All right. From there, we only have one thing left to do. Castle Chaos. Here we go. Arnold Schwarzenegger's back. Click, click, cons back. Click, bzz, this time chaos will be victorious. Oh God, okay. I missed his head. I think the barrel respawns on the other side. Let's just be of the utmost careful here. I think it's, it's just, I mean, like, like most things in this game, it's, this is easier with Dixie. Kitty is at least useful in some way. Oh! So now, that head launches off, and we have this new head. What does this new head do? Launches missiles! Oh, God! Go to the other side of him now. Got him! We did it! Chaos dead! But wait, who's that green foot? Why, it's Baron von Koopenstein! Oh no, what have you done? My wife's going to kill me! I used all her best pots and pans to make him! And then you just cast him aside! As if he were a stack of empty tins. I thought that's what he was. Yes, the Kongs talk in this game. What? How dare you? Chaos was my ticket to world domination. With a tape record on the front, and I would have gotten away with it too. If it wasn't for you meddling kids. I would have preferred the term meddling Kongs. I guess it just isn't your day, is it? Well, you may have roasted my robot. But I'm the master chef around here. And I reckon it's about time your goose was cooked. Kitty's back. And now we fight Baron K. Rulenstein. So he's got a couple of tricks of the trade up his sleeve here. First off, he's flying around in his hover, uh, hover pack here. And he brings down these two, uh, these two levers here. I don't remember if you have to actually duck underneath them, but I like to anyway, just because it's safer. What you want to do is, once he co starts coming over, he's gonna fly up above you. When he comes back down, his, uh, his backpack will always, uh, he, you want to hit his backpack with the barrel. Fortunately, uh, his backpack will always hit the, uh, his, uh, if you stand there, the barrel will always hit his backpack, so you don't have to worry about, like, positioning or whatnot. Or, like, worrying that you're not in the right spot. Comes up, comes down, barrel in the backpack. He flies around a little bit. Turns around. Oh, oh, focus. Steady, steady, steady. Steady. Oh, fly, flap. Do all sorts of things. Brings those back. Now he brings in these other ones, and... An electrical current is flowing between those two nodes. And Dixie's dead, which makes things a little bit more difficult. Oh my god! All right, let's try this phase again. And once again, we only have Kitty because I lost Dixie during the first phase. Oh, Lord. I can't see where he's coming from. I never saw him coming! Oh, my God. Oh, I thought I was going to hit him there. This platform is actually safe from him, so... This fight is actually a lot of, uh, a lot of waiting as well, which is kind of a bummer, but... You know, patience and time are all that you need, right? Everyone loves time. 
Everyone loves a good bay leaf. But now, he gets hit by more, and when he comes back, these fights generally go in two phases. So you can't actually jump over to the next one, but you get flipped over here. It's gonna keep flying back and forth. Another platform's gonna come. I'm gonna duck underneath him here and hit this lever. Duck underneath him some more. When you come back, there's a barrel there because of the lever. I'll be surprised if I beat this as Kitty, because it's very hard to do so as Kitty. Hit him with that, and he goes straight down to the electric current. We can actually jump on this again, because, you know, unless, like, he's coming back the same way, then it's actually relatively easy to not get hurt by that. Or by hurt by him while you're on this platform. You just gotta duck. Boom, and boom! Ladies and gentlemen, I am a fool. I thought it was going away a lot faster than that. Boom! All right, we're back in action. He got electrocuted. We be doing good. The platforms are going to different sides now. Oh god. So now, that the little zaps. Little. Oh god! Got to be careful with the little zaps. But. Oh, I hit the wrong- oh boy. Okay. Oh my god! Get back up! Oh. Alright, run. Run, run, jump. Get up there. Good. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good, we're doing fine. Bip! He goes down. Zap! Alright, I'm gonna try to time that a little bit better. I'm gonna wait for him to come back. And hopefully the zap won't be like when he's doing that. And run! Jump. Get down, get up, and bip! I believe that's the last hit. Hopefully. That's not the last hit. I think this actually, um, maybe I'm remembering this wrong, but maybe this takes th either three or four. He is going faster every, oh God. I think now would be a good time to go and jump. Get that, drop, pick up, go, and throw! And... Zap! Boom! Bonus coin, and with that, we have defeated Baron K. Rulenstein. But, what happened to Donkey and Diddy? They're alive! Whoa, whoa, my head, what happened? One minute I was dreaming. About the world's biggest pile of bananas. The next, th th and the next, I was a power crazed madman. Hey, don't worry, Donkey. Thanks to Dixie, it's over. I'm impressed. I bet even Cranky would be after that performance. Nope, not really. Right, you go this this way, Kitty, and I'll go that way. They're mad. You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Oh, we had glasses. It was funny. But we did it! We beat it! And Donkey and Diddy were apparently controlling chaos the entire time. Kremlin creeps. Whew. We did not beat the game, though. We have nowhere near 100% in it. We got... Look at him smiling, our cobble. Look at cobble smiling for the cameras. We got the springy eyes, uh, the, the, the recoils. So, I think that, like, a lot of the stuff here is either, like, genetically engineered or, like, created in a factory. Naka. It's like the barrel guys seem like Kremlin barrel hybrids. I think it's, it was, like, Clasp or something like that? Yep, Clasp. We knew about that one because of the, uh, because of the level name. What were the chompy names? Uh, Crimp. Crimp? I think like crunch, but that would would make sense. Like these these things definitely seem genetically engineered. Also, crumple, crumple. It definitely would explain why like some of these things look so much weirder than the first game. Uh, copter, jump on his head, not kill him, and be able to get a nice boost out of it. Skitta. I remember these things. They're called skittas. Because we had skittas row. And, like one of the first levels in the game was skittas row. They look like cobbles that are just slipping all over the place. Bazooka. I remember bazookas. Except, uh, not spelled the way I remember it. 
I forgot what the bomb guys were called. I think we saw their name in a, in a level title at one point. Kachuka! Nope, we have not seen Kachukas any, uh, in, a, in a title there. Coin. I remember that thing is called Coin. Coin! Which is really confusing when it's like, oh, I'm gonna go kill the coin now. Shouldn't you be collecting it? We actually haven't seen these guys yet. Cuff and Clout. We'll see them later, but for now, we have not seen them. Uh, Terra Firma Tough Guys. So, baddies that aren't Kremlings that are on the land. We got rats. We had the rats. Sneak. Oh, and there were Neeks in the first game. Is there a difference between the red ones and the gold ones? The knickknacks. Knickknack, paddywhack. What have you. Porcupines! Which, in all honesty, are just genetically mono- Or no, they're hedgehogs. Bristles. These are hedgehogs. The other ones were porcupines. Porcupines. Look at this jumping spider. He's mad. It's a nid. He's got a tiny name, a little tiny little spider. Lemguins! I remember these guys! Lemguin. I like how they're penguins that live in holes. That seems really bizarre. Oh, the monkeys! I like how they're just putting them like wherever they could find places for. Minky. Because they're tiny little monkeys. Flying fiends. Oh, I think the I think the, the booty birds are gonna be here at some point. Buzzes! I guess the, the knickknacks, like the gold ones are also called nicknames. Oh, they're just called buzz. Because they, they, they're bees and they buzz. We haven't seen this either. I believe this is a swoopa? Swoopy. Yeah, so a lot of these enemies in here we actually haven't seen. That's a booty bird. Yep. We have some sea creeps to go along with it here. Look at this owl! I forgot what it was called, but look at this owl! It's a carbine! With a K, because it makes them a crem Kremlin. Aquatic attackers! What do we got in here? We got clownfish. With a K, clown. Coco. I was hoping it was just clown with a K. Lurchin. We know these are called lurchins. Yep, I can, I can actually see the word lurchin in there before it uh, before it faded in. I forgot what this guy was called. Muncha? Nibbler. Like the like in Futurama, nibblers. That's a bounty bass. Look at his cheeks. Look at his puffy old cheeks. Are the I think the light ones are actually a different species entirely. We know these guys' names, but I don't remember them because there was they were in a level name. Baza, 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 Baza. Just like that one TRG thing. Is it like a floodlight? Floodfish? It's like floodlit fish. Gleam and bream. So we had booty ba or bounty bass and gleam and bream. Big time bad guys. We got the we got the the touch and the power and also the bosses. Look at this guy, Belcha! Never saw him from that angle. He looks a lot less terrifying in this picture. Uh, Eric, on the other hand. Giant spider, okay. Tarantula. Uh, Jesus, squirt. That looks even more terrifying than just fighting him in the boss battle. He's embedded in the wall, too. Chaos. What if we get, like, Chaos Reform, where it's got the, uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger head? Jesus, bleak. That thing looks terrifying. Like those eyes. There must have been some dark magic in that old silk hat they found. Barbos, the big lurchin. It's, you know, he, he's in the void right now. Um. Oh, he's trying to hit the. Oh, he's trying to take the picture. Go on, take the picture, darn it. Ah! Aaron K. Rulenstein. I just also realized that he has, like, like, the the Frankenstein monster's head as well. Like, the top of his head is, like, Frankenstein's monster's first class friends. It's Ellie! Ellie the elephant! It's Elef on the elephant. Shoes! I don't care if it's called actually called Squitter. He'll always be Shoes the spider to me. Shoes the spider. Uh, Perry? We have a level coming up with Perry that's like the worst. Perry the parallel parakeet. I don't think it's actually a parakeet, but still. On guard. Uh, I believe the. Nope, one of. 
Well, this, the first, the only animal buddy to uh, be th in all Donkey Kong Country games to have their original, um, to have the same uh, function. Squawks. Squawks didn't have the same function in the first game. Squawks held the light, and that was it. Brothers Bear. We got Bazaar and Barnacle. Bazaar sold stuff. Barnacle was on the island in the middle of a uh, 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 Lake Orangutan. We had Brash, who was like a very angry one. Blunder. I don't remember what Blunder did. Blunder wasn't very memorable. We had a poor, poor Blue and Bazooka. Oh, Blunder was in the house in the uh, above the uh, the, the Cremwood Forest. Blizzard and Bramble. Bramble being the the one bear who had the flowers to grow back, and we did it. We got Benny and Bjorn, also Barter. Barter, we actually cleaned up thanks to the mirror. But I was a sneaky, so I'd say. Baffle and Boomer. We actually haven't met Boomer yet either. Crucial Kongs. How long is this going to last? I don't know how long it will last. Funky Kong. Soon to trade in his boat shop for an, an artillery store. Because he just basically follows what's cool. Uh, Swanky unfortunately lost his game show and is now living in a barrel. Swanky Kong used to have a game show that it was downgraded to a carnival game. Now we don't see him anymore. Wrinkly Kong, dear sweet granny. Saving our games for us using an N64. And Cranky Kong. Jesus. That like that that like glitched to high hell. Oh no, kitty! Boom! Oh! Oh, he's fine, though. He, he, he didn't cry. I thought it was gonna be like, ah! Oh no, Kowalski! That's not Kitty, it's Kowalski. If I was skilled enough to do this, I'd be a great DKC player indeed. And she just landed on her butt. Oh! But then Kowalski did her in, the lummox. Goodbye, Dixie. You don't even... I just realized, Donkey and Diddy aren't even in this. Crazy Kong creators. Head programmer, M. Wilson. Yeah, this, this is, uh, so far, been Donkey Kong Country 3. Because there's still, we still have the Lost World to go, and we still haven't found all the banana birds yet. So I'd say it's probably gonna take, um, two or three more episodes tops, I'd say, to do this. Because there really isn't that much left. Graphics manipulator, sound and music effects. I got all these people. Additional music, David Wise. See, David Wise didn't uh, wasn't head of uh, music in this game like he was in the first two Donkey Kong Countries, which is why it sounds vastly different. Honestly, not gonna lie, I felt the music was kind of lacking in this game. Definitely prefer uh, David Wise's scores over. Uh, I didn't even see the other guy's uh, uh, name. I don't remember the other guy's name. So sorry. Uh, but David Wise has worked on games since. Uh, he worked on Snake Pass, I think, uh, as a composer, so I really wanna, wanna play that at some point. This seems like it was made with a really small team, too, considering we're already at the special thanks. Uh, anywho... As we come to the end here, uh, apparently Koji Kondo's in the special thanks. I guess, uh, as, like, musical inspiration for something, or, like, sort of, um... I guess Koji Kondo did, uh, did compose... I don't know if... Did Koji Kondo compose the music for, Do for the original Donkey Kong? I don't know what his first game was for Nintendo. Uh, but anyway... Oh, we... Uh, no, well, we get to see the, the software systems as well. Uh, but yeah, um... So this has more or less been... Well, we're, like I said, we're not done yet, but this has more or less been my favorite, like, um... Platforming trilogy. Three, it kind of falls off, because they kind of tried to push everything they could into it before the N64 released, and I feel like level design suffered, I feel like some artistic stuff suffered. Like, I love like Orangutan, I love uh, Kremwood Forest, and some of the levels are good, but some of the other ones just, I don't know, they're, they don't have like the exact, they don't have the same charm that the first two games had. But anyway, Scrum here, oh my god, my old like, my old file, like, is still here. TCO, those are my initials. Scrum, we got 88% completion. We still have 101% and even 103%, possibly even beyond that. Our rating is Cool Kong, though. So, next time, we are going to try to beat the odds, beat that score, or be, uh, beat that percentage score, and hopefully beat this game entirely within the next two or three episodes. See you all then!
Later!